Divine is a chocolate company on a mission. We not only want to sell lots of delicious chocolate, but we want to improve the livelihoods of cocoa farmers in Ghana. What's special about Divine is that the cocoa farmers who supply the cocoa own 45% of the company. And because they own 45% of the company, they sit on the board that makes decisions about how the company is run. And in addition to getting the fair trade price and premium, they also get a share of any profit. Quapa Coco is a cooperative of cocoa farmers in Ghana. What's been good about Quapa Coco is that the additional income that the farmers are getting from fair trade, they spend it both in giving bonuses to farmers, but also in doing things like building schools, having medical clinics, sinking water wells. They have a confidence about how they're organising their cooperative and they're now turning over 50,000 tonnes of cocoa, which is more than 1% of the world's cocoa. If we all want to carry on enjoying delicious chocolate, then it's really important that the next generation of cocoa farmers want to carry on cocoa farming. So cocoa farming needs to be a worthwhile activity. The children that we've come across recognise the importance of cocoa to their parents and to their communities. They're so proud of it that they've made this film about how it's done. Welcome to Bayobo No. 3 in Ghana. We are now in November and the main cocoa harvest is in full soil. Cocoa grows on trees, often in remote areas. Let's visit your cocoa farm. I'm in a cocoa farm. The cocoa farm belongs to Mr K. It is not far from our school and town. This is a cuckoo tree. This is right pot and this on right pot. There are falling leaves around the cuckoo tree and also ants and snakes here. So one must be careful walking through a cuckoo farm. These people are harvesting cuckoo. They harvest the cuckoo three times within a month. Sometimes young people help when they are harvesting the cuckoo. The cocoa beans is placed on left hand side by using the sharp catchers to cut the pots and get the beans out. After that, the beans are passed onto plantain leaves and covered with plantain leaves. Fermentation makes cocoa beans turn brown and give it chocolatey flavor. This is the cocoa drying table. The cocoa drying table made from bamboo or raffia of the palm. Cocoa dries for a period of six days. During these days, the farmer often turns over the cocoa beans, pick up bad beans and dirt. This is the office of Kiapa Cocoa Recorder, and there is a set of skills here that the Kiapa members own. The skill is very accurate, so everyone gets the right amount of the money. Every sack weighs to 2.5 kg, and each farmer is paid half of money now and half later. After the season, Kuyapa Cocoa may pay each family's bonus from fair trade premium. Once the cocoa are sold, the sack are taken to the depot. They export it to the chocolate factory all over the world. It's been a real privilege working with the farmers over the last 15 years. I've got to know some of them really well and I've got to meet their enthusiastic children. It's been delightful seeing consumers across Britain and across the world really enjoying the chocolate that we make. I think together we've shown that there is a different way of doing business. We are the children of Piapa Cocoa Farmers. It has been good to be able to tell you about how we grow our cocoa. It is Piapa Cocoa in every bar of the van that make it pa pa pa. That is the best of the best. Bye.